think that the value proposition for blockchain, if anything, was highlighted during the crises of 2022. I think people associate the failure of certain businesses that were in this industry with the underlying technology and nothing could be further from the truth. And so finding a way to program scarcity into the internet was a challenge. Blockchain solves that problem. What a blockchain is, is a decentralized or distributed ledger. And everybody can see what's in that ledger and everyone can trust that the information is accurate, but no single entity can alter that information. And so it becomes this immutable, decentralized and trusted record of transactions that allows us to represent value online. Ethereum today, even with the market where it is, uh, has a market capitalization that's one and a half times as big as RBC and three or four times as big as Shopify, depending on the day. And, it, and in my view, has created uh, is, is the most successful sort of technology export ever from this country. You know, blockchain is the underlying technology that makes crypto assets possible. Whether you agree with the value proposition of Bitcoin, you can still see the value proposition of the underlying technology, but it probably helps to see both. And what I think that Web3 and, and, and uh, blockchain does is it gives, it empowers people with like economic tools to connect into the, to the digital economy in ways that weren't possible. And, you know, oftentimes it's going to be smaller countries that maybe lack a technology sector that are trying to bootstrap one or to subsidize one with government dollars. And that's something that, you know, leaders in places like uh, the U.S., but especially places like Canada, um, you know, it's like a middle power really need to pay attention to because it's our it's our opportunity to lose. We've already lost so much ground already from the launch of Ethereum till today. If we want to be a player, then we have to get serious about it.